When I was a camper, things were really different. Life was very busy, but we made it that way. Even our holidays and times of getting away were busy. It was 2035 when I was a child attending Covenant Bay for the first time. I never dreamed of being able to leave the city and see the wilderness. Even my uncle's farm that I had visited back then was busy with lots of people working there. But in those days, people were just starting to talk about nature deficit disorder. Who knew connecting, connecting with, with our, our Creator and His creation, creation would turn out to be so life-changing? A young lady from my church was my counselor, I mean cabin leader. She was awesome. During free time, we went for a walk through the provincial park and we talked about what the speaker had said. She asked if any of us needed healing. As tears filled my eyes, I spoke up and said, I do. A bunch of other girls followed with raising their hands or saying, I do. We asked Jesus to come into our lives and heal us from all the sin in the world and in our own lives. Then it was quiet for a long time as we sat around the picnic table. It wasn't busy. We were not rushing off to the next thing. We were just quiet. Finally, one of the girls broke the silence about something one of the boys said to me. I blushed and we laughed. We laughed for a long time until we weren't laughing about the joke. This quietness was different. It was weird. It was funny. I was being healed, saved from my past life. This is why Covenant Bay will be a very special place for me. I found this verse the other day and wondered if this is how those who have gone before us have prayed. Psalm 67, verse 1 and 2. May God be merciful and bless us. May his face smile with favor on us. May your ways be known throughout the earth, your saving power among people everywhere.